If you couldn't already tell, this is the Guild of Dungeoneering. It has a nice, jaunty little song to accompany the uh, title sequence there. Uh, I'm Dave Otron B, and this is, yes, the Guild of Dungeoneering. So we're going to take a look at this, and we've got a competition running with this game. Uh, we've got five copies of the game to give away. Just stay to the end of the video, and we'll tell you a little bit more about how you could win one of those keys. So I know nothing about this game, so let's dive in. Although I do like this uh, little jaunty song. I'm a big fan of that. Hello. The Ivory Le of Dungeoneering oh. all across the land. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really like this uh, commitment to having a dumb song everywhere. So, ah, story, you can read that. Welcome to your guild. Thanks. Thanks, Banner. We need to hire some dungeoneers, so let's build a barracks. Yes, please. Can I drag that anywhere? New dungeoneer is wise. Hey, Wesley, you're a chump. Let's rename him. Click to rename. So let's call him Burrito. Close that. So I've got Burrito here. Expand your guild to gain new dungeoneers and abilities. So let's, let's go on an adventure. Now I'm all about adventures. Go exploring. Let's click on go exploring. Oh, hello there. What have I found here? Rats! How original. So I've got to kill these rats, I guess, and I'm going to send my good chum Burrito, or should I say chump? Am I right? Send him into this dungeon. Go on, Burrito. Slay some fools. Defeat three monsters. I see. So I've got to play. I'll play your first turn. It's easy. So looks like you've got to play these cards. Ooh, gimme. So he's going to go after that, and he's going to have to fight this rubber ducking. Uh-oh. Uh, so it looks like I've got to pick one of these bad boys. It looks like the rubber duck is going to scratch his head. So let's... Eyes closed, punch. No, let's go for a lucky hit. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Ba-boom, yes. Come on, burrito. So, he looks like he's going to punch me. So, I'm going to cower, and it's going to block one damage. So, it should count each other out, and I've done that. So, uh-oh. So, he's going to roll up some punches on me. So, maybe I'll get another punch in first. Eyes closed punch. No. No, he's got me. There we go. Rubber Ducky is going down. So, I can pick... Uh, okay, so, look, can I just... Looks like I can just pick one of these. Let's pick a fork. Seems like it's going to do a bit more damage. Or maybe maybe I should bump up my health. Now let's go on the offensive. Got a weapon. Got a fork. Now you have a go. So it looks like... Let's see. So I've got to learn. So it looks like these are health points here on these... Red card, so it looks like they are monsters. But let us put down a room. So it looks like I can see different... Uh, it looks like they've got four sets of exits there. So let's chuck this down here. I suppose I'm going to just build up a dungeon with that. If I can walk and put another one... I guess I'll put another... I can put a monster in that room. Now I can put another room here. And then I... Oh god, not a nasty rat. So it seems like it's automatically going to walk that way. So it looks like this nasty rat is a little bit harder than that uh, a rubber ducky I fought earlier. Well, it should be. He's nasty. He's a nasty rat. So let us... So look, he's going to try and hit me. So if I cower... And I'll counter that out. He's still... Oh, it looks like oh, he's going to hit me regardless. So let's... Dive in with a slice and hit him there. So, looks like I don't really have much choice here. Eyes closed, punch, that's it, burrito. Close your eyes and just fight. Yes. So, he's still going to hit me. He's going to get rid of damage on that, but if I dive in with his lucky hit, I'm get two jabs in, take him down. 
Yes, and I've leveled up. Oh. I get one stupidity. I guess these are extra cards I can get there. That's another card I could get here. I can, uh, So if I quit for that, then I lose a slice card. I've already got one of those, so I can sell it for a gold. I'll just get gold here. So let's... Let's go crazy and pick this wooden stool up, so which is like a, I guess, an offhand weapon. Squeak. Oh, hello there. That guy didn't seem too happy. Massive gem. Well, obviously, I'm going to pick that. I'm going to put it in this room here, so it looks like I'm going that way. Lay down a couple more rooms, should I so desire. Can I, I'll just poke this guy. What if I put you instead? Bring it, bro. All up in your grill. Let's fight this nasty rat. So, it looks like my health recovers over time, which is good. I imagine later on these diff battles are going to get a lot more difficult and you can build up. Uh, you can heal yourself over time as well, so you can make these a little bit more... Uh, easy to deal with, but it's a, a nice twist on the card battling formula. Very cute, very adorable. So he's going to punch me. So I could cower. I'm just going to try and get some punches in first before he starts bringing out the big guns. So this is unblockable, so I might as well just get another hit in. Uh, well, I don't want to scratch my head. So let's cower. Let's see if I can block this. Yes. So he doesn't discard any of my cards. Let's dive in with a slice. I'm not too keen on this him going first thing. Time to go to your dungeon, did it? You. If you understand, this used to be a peaceful land. Since you. <laughs> I'm enjoying this folk. Enjoying this silly folk songs. To know now Turn to my guild. What you've planned. So here we are. So I can find look have a look at my dungeon areas. So I got Burrito there. My good old chump. So let's see if I can expand my guild. Let's see what I can get for that. So I've got fifty nine these coins. So all of these tier one things I can use. It looks like there's three different tiers depending on what sort of thing you want to do. So there's might, I imagine that's fighting, magic, uh, spelling, and loot, stealing. Uh, unlocks uncommon items. I imagine these are different types of items. So, uh, I imagine a blacksmith will be swords, leatherworker will be armor, woodworker will be some offhand stuff, curio shoppy, that'll be s potions, I imagine. So, I'm going to go... These seem quite interesting. I'm going to go for this cat burglar. Hello there! Let's build this. And where should I chuck that? Let's put this here. Let's call her... What's a good name for a cat burglar? Let's call her... Sally. Sally the cat burglar. Close. <laughs> they come up with custom songs for all these. And that's pretty dumb. And if there's the one thing I love, it is dumb. Can these can I poke these? No. So, I guess there's nothing to do, but let's go explore. Is there anywhere else to explore to yet? So maybe we go back into that dungeon. Rat pack. I see. So I guess there's a number of different quests you have in these each dungeon. And then send Sally in. And then you unlock new areas based on if you finish the quests there, I imagine. Defeat the Rat King. Okay, so we do have another quest here. But I guess I have to get further up, so let's pop down this room here. Scroll up through that, and I'm. Well, that's obviously the Rat King. He's a leader. Leader of men. Let's poke Sally. Meow. That is infuriating. Meow. I promise revenge. Game's pretty great, you guys. 
<laughs> so, mm, 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 mm. let's chuck down an enemy here just so we have chances are to get a little bit of leveling up done. Now, this guy is a little tougher than what I am used to, so. This is going to get plus one damage. And it looks like he is going to work me over. Hmm. Bonus treasure card. So let's go for this catnip. So I don't know if that's actually going to hit anything. It's going to save. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a bit more powerful, but now I am feeling it. It's plus one damage, but because I'm going to be going down, so I get this in first. But he's going to. Well, I'm not achievement of dying. <laughs> Once again, oh. they tried in vain to overcome and not be slain. But oh, have we lost Sally? I don't know how to take this. Oh man! Although the skill seems very grand, oh man! An engineer's life can sometimes be hard. Well, <laughs> I'll right, call this guy Roy, but I'm not sending him into the dungeon. You're staying home, Roy. Graveyard. Oh man! <laughs> also, okay, so I can't unlock anything, so I can't expand. Oh man, I don't. <laughs> How harrowing. Enter the dungeon. So, Burrito has leveled up, I hope. I sure hope so. Otherwise, we're in for a bad time, you guys. So, I can see the different health there. So I'm going to put anything down. I'm going to put this giant bat down. I'm not a vampire. Leave me alone. He sounds like the sort of guy I could easily punch in the face. So, let's put that there. And I'll put him another room on the side here. I wasn't quite expecting Sally to go so quick. Now it looks, now it, now I'm seeing this a little bit more. It seems like they only level up during their turn. So I shouldn't have put that dude down in the first place. Should have have him fight some lower tiered enemies first going to do block one physical so I'm just going to cower counter that out uh, eyes closed punch oh, he's, gonna, he's taking health of me I guess he is a vampire bat all right so I'm gonna do, oh man okay so I'm gonna have to go on the offensive here Oh dear, looks like he, I think he's gonna go first. That's gonna. I can't block that, so let's see if I can get in with my. Oh man! My people are falling like flies here. So Burrito's been earning no end of gold. So it seems like what you can do in each dungeon is you level up through the dungeon and then you start fresh each time. And any loot you get, that will give you new cards. And you build up your little base here, get new adventurers, go exploring. So let's, let's do this one. I feel, feel good about this time. Let's send in a cap... That someone, someone in, send someone in who could be a little bit more defensive. And let's not put a vampire back down. We've learnt our lesson. Oh man, that guy seems pretty hardcore. Put these silver coins down here. That's the one thing I love is silver coins. Put that down there, and then not fight anybody. 
That silver coins sure is. Oh man. You have to find something. Nasty rat. Put down. I'll put you in here because I'm not going that way. Put that there. I'm going to have to fight this nasty rat regardless. <laughs> oh god, no. Not a nasty rat. Oh man, why'd you go that way? I should have really learned how to send these people in a different direction. So he... I'm going to cower. Yes. Ice close punch. Ba boom. Ba bam. Unblockable, so let's try and get in a bit more damage before he can get anything on me. And I'm going to cower here. Yes, so I've still got a little bit of the upper hand. Uh, cower there. As well. Punch. Punch in there. Punch in there. Going down to the last hit. Try and get another punch in. Right, Nasty Rat is down. <laughs> now we're doing a little bit better. We've got one more XP. Oh, 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 hello. So it seems every time I block something, I get some HP back. That could be quite useful. Uh, magic damage plus one HP. So that gives me health and hits. This one, restore. Oh, there's two magic damage. Nice cup of tea. I'm going to take this. That gives you perks on everything you do. So I'm going to put some more silver coins there. Uh, put a room there. And these rat men look relatively unsavory. I'm going to put one a little further away. This is why I'm a dungeoneer. Do this. Get these silver coins. So each time I move, that happens. This guy looks nothing to F with. Room. Put something there. Corridor. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go that way anyway to see the Rat King. Giant bat. Now, all these guys seem like jerks. Well, that's, they seem a little bit easy to deal with. So let's put that there. Who fills a dungeon with nasty rats? That is a very, very good question. Let's do this. Fight. Okay, so... I haven't lost any health yet, so let us just... So he's going to... I can't block his attack, so let's just go in with a punch. Biff. Now that could be a good time to use that. Uh... Not quite yet. Let's go in with another punch first. See what he's planning. Claw. So I could cower from that. Let's use this. This is rekindle. Hit me. Damage there. Restore some health. So we're getting a lucky hit. Gives me a couple of extra hits. Then Nasty Rat is down. Do I level up? Not quite yet, but I can get. What I do here is wooden stall and gets me some block three damage with that. Okay, so that could be quite useful. I can get some extra health here. So I'm gonna go for some equipment here. I'm gonna block more things. Chitter, chitter. He doesn't seem like a very happy chappy. Let's put some silver coins in here because I'm going that direction. Nasty rat, let's put him over here so he's out of the way. Mysterious fountain. Because one thing I do like is a mysterious fountain. I'll put that here. Oh yeah! Giant bat and coins. How can you cope? Right, so that's. I actually wonder if if I do this, he won't be able to anything from me. No, he wouldn't. That's unblockable, so I have to dive in there. A little bit of a punch. So now he is... Put that on. 
I wonder if that stays. No, it doesn't. Okay. Let's dive in with two punches here. So now he's going to take a little bit of health from me. And restore one there. So ideally I need to get a little bit something more defensive. So this is a good one because I can do some damage and block something as well. So that wasn't a bad idea. Although it didn't seem to it to work quite how I expected it. There we go. Oh, very close call there. So I'm going to go for... Two damage on back. That could be quite good. But I'm going to go for this straight jacket because that gives me a little bit of extra health there. Get some more coins. Wonderful. Why are you going down? Why would you want to do that? Gold coin. I'm going to put you in here. So it seems like you're going that way. Shiny! You're getting too distracted by the coins. Rat man! Let's fight this guy. Why would why would this be a good card? Stupidity plus one. Uh, let us get in two hits. Off to a good start. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I see. I imagine this takes one hit from them. So if I try and block one... So I only took one hit from there, and it took one off them. So I came out of that quite good. Let's do a little bit of magic damage there and restore some health. Grand. Uh, so let's uh, get in with plus... Oh, no. He's going to parry something. Hmm. Tough one. Going anyway. This, even though I know it's not going to do anything. So, let's repel that so it's going to hurt him more than it's going to hurt me. Wonderful. Sparkly headband. What does that give me? I'm going to lose magic damage. Again. Hmm. Shimmering cloak. Uh, I don't have any... Let's take a weapon, shall we? Now I'm fully equipped. Oi, I mean squeak! I think that guy's up to something. Let's put some gold here. Corridor. Here. Mysterious fountain. Here. Oh yeah! Some coins. Nope. Some coins there. Little this place with coins. Mysterious fountain. That uh, was in there. All right. So hold on. I'm gonna. Uh oh. Yeah, I've messed up here. A gold pouch. Sure is. Hopefully he stays over there. Don't have to deal with him too much. So what has he got here? He's going to do two hits and one damage. So if I dive in with another two hits. That's three health down already. And I've only just got started. So he's going to block one thing. So uh, let's try and do some damage limitation. Only one hit there. Uh, 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 let's restore some health and do some f magic damage. Unblockable, so let's go in with another punch. Shift. Ah, I see. So I can get in with some physical damage before he can hit me. And then... Boom. There we go. Ratman is down. I see. So I can pick more things there. So that these are not going to be helpful. It's going to be good. What do I get here? Shimmering cloak. Take. Take some gold, shall we? Be a little bit easier. I just litter my way there with some gold coins, then be good. 
I'm going to put this guy over here. Hopefully leave him out of this. And not put another room down. It seems like my room days are out of luck. So let's put another pouch down. Can you have a pouch? No, I'll just put you there. So I'm going straight ahead. Doing fine there. Getting some gold coins. Determined to take this Rat King down. It's going down, you guys. Put him there. This guy here. This guy here. Shiny. Okay, this uh, I could be in for a little bit of a rough ride here. So he is actually going to do quite a bit of damage there. Get a little bit of a punch in first. Ba boom So he's done two hits to me already. Aha, but I'm... He's going to do one to me, so let's try and get him with two. Let's do with some defensive cards or something. What I'm going to do here is repel two of those, so he's going to do himself one damage. Get a little bit of the other hand. Unblockable, so uh, let us just get a hit in. There's another two, he's going to hit me, so let us at least get one in and then try and block some. Again, a little bit of damage limitation, but still chipping away at his health. Unblockable, but he's only got one left, so let us go for the eyes closed punch. Classic that is, and then the Rat King is down. Success, guys. Dungeon down. Oh, look. It's your Dungeoneer who survived. Just look at the joy. <laughs> I'm so teary-eyed. Do you think that they'll all come back alive? <laughs> well, I suppose if they don't, then at least they all tried. Yeah, free trophy room. Great, so if you like the look of Guild of Dungeoneering, oh, no. then Dungeoneering we have got five copies of this game right. to give away. It's nice to Just wait for this little song to finish first. A place to quietly reflect. Rat King trophy. Rat King's tale. So we've got five copies of this game to give away. If you're interested in getting a copy of Guild of Dungeoneering, just pop a comment down below. We'll put in the comments uh, how long this competition is going to run for. It's going to be uh, one week, but I'm not entirely sure when this video is going to go up yet. But uh, put a comment down below and we'll pick five lucky winners to win a copy of Guild of Dungeoneering. This sweet card battling, talking cat burglars. Out that hurt. Just poke these. You're making me caddy. See, how can you not want this game? Look at these cat puns. Making him caddy. Cut it out! Let's uh, just mourn the death of Sally and Burrito. The two best Dungeoneers I've ever known. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and keep it locked to Green Man Gaming.